guys, welcome back to Inside the Cellar Studio. I'm Rebecca, this is John. Today we're gonna talk about our summer slowdown, um, not only in sales, but really in listings as well. We've talked about it. It's summer here in Oklahoma, it's hot. Garage sales are few and far between, so we pretty much don't even bother going to very many. Um, but we've been preparing for this. One way we've been preparing is the vintage Legos that we bought <laughs> a year ago. Yeah, around this time. Um, that we pulled out, you know, immediate sets that we wanted to list, um, including things like Fort Legorado and some of the castle sets and pirate sets and Forstman sets. Mm -hmm. And then we just kind of left them sorted in on the shelves in different bins. Um, well, sorted by color, not sorted by mm -hmm. set. And I had said a couple weeks ago that I'm ready to go ahead and get them pulled. I'm ready to finish them out so we can move on because we actually have four different um, Lego collections that we have purchased that we are currently sorting through. Um, we're kind of ridiculous, I know. It's not confusing at all. We don't mix them. <laughs> we keep them all separate in different places. It's... Like, I think we've said it before how much we like Lego, but I don't think we've really stressed it that we love Lego. We don't just love buying and reselling Lego. We love buying and keeping Lego. We love building Lego. Mm -hmm. We have our own personal collections. Um, you can't really see it. There's a Christmas village built down here. There's a Hogwarts castle that's in pieces but kind of built down here. Yeah, we stopped disassembling everything because we decorate our house with Lego. Like, I've got vases full of the different flowers. Um, we've got a fish tank built right now, like a bird display. Um, our son displays all the, like, postcards from the world. And then we change out for seasons. We have Halloween Legos. We have Christmas Legos. And then we also have, like, a theme for each year. Last year was Harry Potter. This year and probably going into next year will be Middle Earth as we like complete it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, we love Lego. So my goal was just to actually get like one Lego set pulled from from it. And we actually pulled 10 different Lego sets. Mm -hmm. And we've built all but two that are going to be one listing. It's Neptune Neptune's Underwater Lab with the raised ocean base plates. It looks really cool. We've pulled all the pieces from the parts list. We just haven't built it because we've been working on the other ones. Um, we're actually going to call it after these sets are built and listed. And we're going to be done with that collection. We're going to mix all the pieces back together, probably keep the minifigures separate and accessories because we did keep those mm -hmm. um, separate. Just so someone who's wanting to buy it can actually see all the minifigs included. Yeah, so we're going to sell off the leftovers um, that we're not going to deal with to somebody else and let them build it and they can take their time or not take their time. I mean, not everybody who buys Lego collections builds it like we do they usually just pull out the minifigs and sell the rest as bulk mm -hmm. um but we have all the manuals yeah we do so and like we were actually going to keep building more um let me see if i can find like i know we have like they're all like four digit number sets we were gonna build the nasa sets and then um one of the like airplane shows yeah and then we decided that we didn't want to put the time. We were also going to build this set. But then John decided that he wanted some of the castle pieces for himself for Middle Earth. So we actually just pulled the minifigs and listed those. So I guess we mm. got 11, 11 different listings. sets. Listings. 11 listings yeah. from it. That's a smart way of saying it. One of the reasons why we decided to go ahead and stop is because we really like to sell complete listings we mm. don't really like to sell incomplete listings unless it's something that's like super expensive and i think super expensive would be anything like over 150 dollars like the nasa set and the um airplane show airplane show they sell like 50 to 100 dollars that's that's good that's, but it just wasn't worth the stress that's 100 percent complete that's 100 yeah so we decided that 
even at 90% complete, it wouldn't be worth our time. Mm -hmm. And one of the examples that I have is, this is a set that's going to be listed today. It's Lego set number 6267. It's like a pirate lockup. And we actually didn't have the pirate captain. So to make these complete, I feel like the vintage sets, to make them complete, they have to have all of the minifigures. So we actually ordered him on eBay as a replacement. We listed a castle set earlier this week that we had to order um, one of the Crusader minifigures because it was not, it was missing one. We ordered it off eBay. Yeah. We, we do <laughs> sell and shop on eBay. We did. And then what's really funny is yesterday at the flea market, we actually bought a tub of Lego minifigures. The guy was asking $3 each for minifigures. And I was, I wasn't going to pay that, even though that's a really good price. But there were two in there, like immediately that we saw that we wanted two dwarfs that we thought would be perfect for Middle Earth. Um, so we just made an offer on the whole tub. John walked away and made me do all the negotiating. I walked away, but I also went away and bought video games. That's true. But <laughs> I hate negotiating. And he started at $350 for the tub, which is not what I was going to pay. Um, we settled on $125. Um, we got it home. They were all really gross. So we had to wash every single piece that was in there. There was some Flego mixed in, which is fake Lego. We hate Flego. We don't deal with fake Lego. Fake Lego. So we throw those pieces immediately in the trash. Just because it makes it that much harder to complete yeah. uh, minifigs and pieces and sets if there's fake mixed in. It just it makes it more cumbersome. But what was funny is there was actually a pirate captain in that set. So now we're going to list the pirate captain on eBay and get back our money. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The exact same pirate captain. But we've been sorting through them. Um, we actually have a little tub full of minifigs that we're going to be listing online. Mostly the vintage Legos that people are going to be looking for to complete the sets. The Imperial Soldiers, the Crusader Knights. Um... So this is what we're doing to help our summer slump. Yes, I got way off track. Somebody got off a tangent. <laughs> um, so everyone's talking about the summer slump, how people are busy, um, sales aren't as good as they could be. We're only shipping out four items today. Um, that's just Saturday and Sunday sales. Um, we could still have more sales today because it's early in the morning. Mm -hmm. But our summer slump also includes our desire to list. Um, a lot of people talk about how buyers don't want to purchase, sellers don't want to list mm -hmm. when it's hot, when it's humid. Um, our setup is in the garage, but with the Lego minifigs, we can set up inside on the couch with a whiteboard and it's very easy because, you know, they're so small. It's not like you're trying to spread out a, a jacket or, a, you know, tools or something. Mm -hmm. um, but that's how we are going to come combat our summer slump mm -hmm. with both sales and our desire to actually list product mm -hmm. which has been a real struggle this past couple weeks it has but we got the motivation to get on these vintage lego sets which is yeah what we were holding them for we knew we would eventually want them and yep so we've already the we've already listed a castle mm -hmm. um that one's listed currently um we're gonna list the pirate today um, and then there's a couple different smaller sets. Um, what are those? The black ones with the green lasers. Um, they're the Lego Alien Insectoids. Um, yeah, they're very cool. They're very cool. Um, that one was mostly like built. So we're actually going to cheat with that listing. And we're going to take the pictures as it is right now. And then when we disassemble it, we'll compare everything to the parts list. And then list anything that may be missing. Mm -hmm. Which is what we do. We always list the parts list that's missing. Correct. Always. Just makes it easier for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I feel like someone's more likely to buy it if they know exactly what's missing or exactly what's been substituted as it, opposed to just, it, it may be missing, it could be complete, we don't know. It also cuts down on all the questions mm -hmm. from potential sure. buyers because <clears throat> with each question, they think they want to offer less money. So if we have all the missing pieces listed or the color substitutions, it kind of, you know, takes away their ammo right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so 
we did go to the flea market. We did buy a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but we did buy some stuff to, yesterday. We stumbled upon an estate sale, which was very nice. Um, it was also next door to a garage sale, which we actually bought. I don't know where it's at. A tool set that sells, it has crazy sell through rate. I think it's like three listed, 36 sold or something. Um, we're looking forward to our show in October. Um, you saw the ad at the beginning of this video. We uh, are struggling with not having everything ready today for it, even though it's still three months away. Especially at least as we're I sorting am. Lego and we want to like, we're having we know what we want to take and what we want to sell now as opposed to sell later. Mm -hmm. um, that's becoming a little bit more complicated. Um, but because yeah. it doesn't matter if we don't sell it right now we obviously don't need to sell it right now we're part-time we don't need the money um and by holding it if it doesn't sell at the show we get to list it in fourth quarter where it's probably most definitely gonna sell at some point and probably sell for more christmas actually yeah i mean a lot of stuff does we uh i guess we'll show you what we're shipping um we've got four items um i'll start with this one this is the gamecube Zelda Four Swords Adventure. This is the big box that came with the link cable for the Game Boy Advance. Box only, no game included. Nope, just has the cable, which is brand new. Um, it's a little beat up. It's kind of creased here and there. It's got like a little dip. All the pictures showed everything. Um, it sold for- $70 plus shipping. And that was part of our big empty box um, trade slash Purchase. purchase we had from a buddy of mine the next item that sold which this one was a week in the making because the buyer really wanted it last weekend but then had to think on it for a whole week which I'm kind of shocked it didn't sell but he ended up getting it anyways this copy of Golden Sun the Lost Age this is our last like really expensive box this may be our last box total from that purchase I think there's one more actually. yeah he definitely wanted more um, he asked questions to get more pictures mm -hmm. of the inserts like the map he wanted to know how minty it was, and it's very minty. I told him I had the benefit of being able to see it. That's why I wasn't coming down on price. He was just going to have to trust us and our feedback and kind of how we said it was listed. Mm -hmm. And that sold for... 89.11 plus shipping. Which is crazy because there's no game included. <laughs> and then, speaking of odd things to sell in the summer, we sold this North Face jacket. It's a three-in-one... High vent. Yeah. Um, it's a women's jacket. Um, it, we did take an offer on it this morning. We had it listed for 60. We know when we listed it in May, I believe, that it was going to be a long tail item because nobody's thinking about buying jackets, mm -hmm. or at least not typically, especially heavy jackets. But we did take an offer. We had it listed for 60. The person offered 35 and we did accept it. I think we paid maybe five, ten dollars for it. And shipping is included. Mm -hmm. I was very curious to see where it's going. It's actually only going to Arkansas, which is just as hot as we are. So yeah, it's definitely they're not... planning ahead and they're getting a good deal for planning ahead. Yeah, and it's definitely not so. cool there. And then our last <laughs> item that we're shipping out today is a vintage style looking pair of Rockaware, um, you know. I'm not going to unfold them. Baggy streetwear is in your title. <laughs> big legs, wide and long. Um, we bought these. I think I paid a couple dollars at a garage sale. The only item they had at the entire garage sale. Everything was pink, girly, women's clothes. We almost drove by. Except for one single pair of these. And they sold for... $23.29. So that would have been a best offer we sent out plus shipping. Yep. So everything had we charged shipping for that's going out today. Oh, cool. Which is in, like, it's just interesting. Because we don't do it all one way or all the other way. Mm -mm. We but, just base it off of yeah what the item is and what the comps are. So yeah. that's kind of it for today. We got, we're going to go back inside where it's cool and start listing some Lego. And uh, yeah, John said he wanted to do a big listing day. And the only thing that we can like really pump out quickly and have ready is a bunch of Lego. Mm -hmm. From the comfort of my couch. But yeah, so that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe or do whatever. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> or whatever.